Community is showing up in support of Douglas Buddy Barker, owner of Buddy's Beer Barn, a staple spot for over 20 years here in El Paso. But after Barker's severe stroke, he has now been placed under a guardianship and his business partners claim it's against his will. KTSM 9 News reporter Carla Draxler went to cover the show of support by the community, but ended up uncovering that the story was much more complicated than it seems. She joins us live in studio and Carla, what did you find out? Andy, when I came into Buddy's Beer Barn today, I thought I was covering a completely different story. Community gathering to support Buddy and get him under uh, a gun or over that guardianship that he did not ask for. But then his brother reached out to me saying that he was the one asking for that guardianship to take care of his brother who has difficulty communicating since he suffered a stroke. And now these two sides, Buddy's business partners and his brother are telling two different stories. Community gathering in support of Buddy, owner of Buddy's Beer Barn. Behind the words, let Buddy speak. His business partner, Justin Duckett, explaining what they want for Buddy. State and the courts put a guardianship against his will on him. This after Douglas Buddy Barker suffered a stroke in December. Right now we're trying to raise awareness and put a little bit of pressure to help him actually be seen in court and have his fair due process of it. But the picture is not exactly clear. Now all this let Buddy speak stuff, I'm, I, I'm just... I'm dazed by it. The severe stroke left Barker impaired of speech and writing. His business partner is now saying Barker was put under guardianship and stripped his rights for no reason. Uh, his family, his supporters and everyone out here, we all miss him dearly. However, Barker's only living sibling says he wanted to take care of him, but is now fighting his business partner. There's not any way, in my opinion, as a retired physician that he can meaningfully communicate right now which is why I was wanting to get guardianship. He believes his brother is being used by Duckett, saying that prior to the stroke, his brother gave power of attorney to Duckett. Leaving all of Doug's possessions to Justin. He claims he read in Barker's journal that his bank account was previously cleared of $400,000 and that he confronted Duckett about it. Some money missing out of um, Doug's account. Do you have any knowledge of that? Um, all of Doug's decisions, Doug did. Um, that's why it's let Buddy speak. It's the chance for Doug to be able to speak on his own behalf. Duckett claims Barker was forbidden any communication, but his brother explains he can only speak to his direct family members while the courts invest to make their final decision on the guardianship. It sounds like somebody put him in a mental institution or something against his will and they're loading him up on Thorazine or something. That's the impression you get, but he's in a very good health care facility, which has been doing a really good job with him. He's making progress physically. Barker's brother lives about 15 hours away from here and explained that while he was staying with his brother for two months here in El Paso after his stroke, he originally applied for guardianship himself, but after being hospitalized, he was not able to care for himself and had to head back home. And that's why he instructed the courts to appoint a guardian who he is in contact with until this is resolved. In studio, I'm Carla Draxler. Back to you, Andy. Carla, thank you very much.